I know, I know, it's been quite a while that I was promising cooking and fishing video and finally here it is. Um, probably most requested video so far, like period, and that's mostly because as you can tell by the thumbnail, it is a new bottable meta. So, let's get straight into it. Um, first of all, where do you even start? All that you need to get from the materials and quests and everything that goes into cooking and fishing are going to be at those two NPCs. Kitchener and Jianghai. Kitchener's duty is to get you the materials for cooking fish and meats that you are going to drop and Jianghai has a multi-purpose. Because at him you are buying a starting bamboo rod, bone hook, corn bait, as well as the entire quest fishing line for rod and hook itself, alongside the dailies that you can get via shadow getting shadow sharks, uh, spectral loaches, and small goldfishes, as well as fishing 50 times daily, which, as you can tell, that I have already done. So. Where do you start? Um, at Kitchener you can pick up, as you can tell, learn living skills cooking. And when you press S and at the living skill, you are going to gain ability called cooking. Fishing, however, is automatically installed. So you do not have to collect it whatsoever. You just have to buy a fishing rod. Well this one in this case because you will not have any better one until you get the chain quests bone hook and a corn bait so you need all three of those so what do you do then when you buy all three of those you are going to want to put bone hook on a bamboo rod and that will put you that you have a 0.5 seconds hook time which you can tell by the example of let's say the red scale rod it will tell you like this prolong fishing's hook time by 0.5 seconds instead of this two seconds because this is let's say a free rod or the first tier of rod and hook so therefore you will need all three of those now in the entire line of the rods and hooks there is three tiers first one you buy as you can tell over here at Jianghai second and third are going to be given as a chain quest reward over here which you are going to get a quest series that is going to unlock once you get a 60th level however there is a little bit more complicated stuff that I have to explain until we get to that part so I'm just going to first start off with fishing how you do it where you can go to fish and everything else alongside that goes with that and later on i'm going to go into cooking and the drops itself from fishing that probably most of you even care about so as i've said there is three tiers of fishing rods first one is the free bamboo rod one second one i still do have which will be ironwood rod as well as the hook is going to give you one second hook time instead of the 0.5 seconds hook time and the last tier of the fishing rod will be red scale rod or the prolonging for a hook that is going to give you two seconds time to catch a fish now of course as you upgrade your fishing rods the better chance for better drop is because if you read the uh, rod itself, it tells you that it tells you luck plus one increase the rate to catch special item of 5% in fishing. And whilst here on the red scale rod is luck plus three increase the rate to catch special item by 15% in fishing. Now, I think that the standard rod has no um, any special big chances whatsoever. Yeah, it's just a standard baboon rod. So, there are seven levels, as you can tell, in fishing, as well as the seven types of fishes for each class. So, basically, there is attacking fish, 
Defensive fish and meta scroll fish. Um, attacking fish are going to be um, like those boiled red tail sharks that are going to give you always basic attributes by 35 points. Um, the defensive fish will be um, this kind fish, this kind um, that is going to give you dodge and the physical defense. And the third kind of fish is going to be something like this that is basically free metamorphosis now granted each different fish is going to give you a different metamorphosis so if you really want the some of the specific ones you can always um, go and fish now the different levels so where do you fish there is on a lot of maps fishing ponds and they are going to be marked like this so you can see that there is going to be a uh, stairs like those gray stairs and this like tiny watery lake so wherever this is marked is where you can fish and that that's basically where e the fishing pond is in the first place so first one for level one is going to be sky village um that's for level one fish Level 2 fish, I believe it's going to be, um, where is it, Cloud Mountain, so it has two locations. I don't think Tiger Mountain has any, it may have, um, actually does have two fishing ponds. Okay, so level 2 is going to be at the Cloud Mountain and the Tiger Mountain. Level 3 is going to be, I don't think Stone City has any if i'm right yeah so you have to go to the um let me see where is that map um hold on maybe i just find it like this it's easier blackwing camp has one and then you have to go to i believe beauty village yes also beauty village has one so those are going to be for level three fish level four fish um let me see does thunder ridge have okay so thunder ridge is going to be level four uh, it has two as well as the Laurel Mountain is going to be, hang on, um, that's level 4 also. Now, here is the tricky part. You may think that Snow Mountain is going to be for level 4 naturally because there are mobs from level 35 to 40. However, for whatever reason the GMs made, I still don't get it or whatever. This fishing pond is for level 5 as well as the fishing ponds in World Mountain, they are also for level 5. Um, same case is also for the, I believe, Vast Mountain which only has one, so basically it goes in woods. From there on we go to level 6 fishing ponds which is going to be basically entire dice field, so you have 3 locations. And finally level 7 is going to be for the moon dragon village which i'm going to go in a second which i believe should have i think approximately three fishing ponds one is in front of silver fox cave one is in um, near en rear end of the bandit fort and third one should be nearby the i believe it's not briarwoods but whatever the location is now called i cannot remember anyhow let's go there and basically if you care strictly for a fish that you want to get best loot is of course in moon dragon village because naturally if we go through the cooking process you are going to see that the fish for level 7 let's take bold boiled red tailed shark it's going to give you because this is fish for level 7 it's going to give you 30 attribute points so basically it's going to give you vitality strength dexterity and intelligence now for most classes three out of four work exception being for mana classes because all four are going to work from those stats um so yeah basically if you go to level six fish and you can even see that they are marked um especially the last three levels by white fish green fish and well basically this is just what is the closest to your actual fishing level so let's take for example level 6 fish, as you can tell it's going to give you only 30 attribute points. If you go to level 5 fish it's going to give you 25 and so on and on. Because basically the 
At the higher level, fishing pond you fish, the better fish with better attributes that you make it in the end is going to give you. So Moon Dragon Village is the last place where it has fishing ponds, so it's going to be basically two in the Simon Mountain and one is going to be here, at the west of Simon Mountains, which um, for whatever reason this one is my favorite fishing spot, there I don't really have any specific reason to it, I just always do some quests around here and I just end up fishing there because it's just closest to what I was doing at the moment. Um, but yeah, anyhow, regards of that is going to be very simple. Now, regards of where you can find those two NPCs, um, there is about six or seven locations, wherever, um, so that includes Jianghai and the Kitchener, as you can see, they are going to be in Sky Village, um, Stone City, Moon Dragon Village, I believe they are in Laurel Mountain, Dice Field, so any major town that a lot of people are going to there are those two NPCs that you need them for. So, how the fishing actually works. Um, let's go and demonstrate you that real quick. Now granted, for fishing you always need to have a corn bait in your inventory, so you have to always buy it, otherwise you cannot fish. Now, one recommendation that I give to everybody if you are already going to fish, is going to be that you put your fishing rod on a shortcut key. As you can tell, here I have put mine on letter A on keyboard. So basically I, that's just how I got used to it. Um, and yeah, it's really simple. Now, here as we can have, there is already one fishing bot, so we are not going to go there to not disturb us. So we are going to go on the secondary one which is going to be about here um, the fishing itself and cooking are a lot alike as you can tell by uh, regards of the leveling itself are exactly the same as the collecting herbs as making charts and making magic stones so basically the percentages to level up each level for the corresponding skill is going to scale equally. Only difference being is that fishing might be somewhat easier to level, at least that's the impression I'm getting. Um, even though you are restricted to fish only 99 times in a day, so yes. However, this does not count that you fish if you do not click fish in time, which I'm going to explain in a second. So, when you come here, as we said, you need in inventory a corn bait and you will need a red scale rod or, or whatever rod you already have. Put it on a shortcut and then you can see this is like a little coast um, wooden board. So you have it from both sides. So you have to go all the way up to it you can sit, you don't have to, because once you start fishing, the game is automatically place you as you were sitting. So, when you open it, the function, because the rod has its own function, as you can tell, it's just a quick bait, so basically the requirement is to have rod and the corn bait itself in the inventory, and then you can start fishing. Now, what I also like to do is to open parallelly um, how many times I have fished, because as you can tell I don't fish entire 99 times, but only 50 times, which is enough for the daily quest, because at the moment I'm really hunting energy and I'm not really trying to spend any more time than I need to on some side things other than dailies for energy. So, since I have put the rod on a shortcut, you can also activate it like clicking it from here. Um, but preferably it's to do a shortcut. So basically I click A and here you are going to see that there is this a little bait thingy floating in water and there is a flower icon on the mouse. When this splashes or you're going to hear the sound, you hit the right click and then you can collect whatever you caught. So most of the times it's going to be a fish, in this time it's Shadow Crucian, which is Metavant fish. So you collect it, you keep on going. Again, 
when you see it splash then you right click it and you have this your pointer has to be on these flowers so basically at all times you have to do that so like that you collect it and go on now you can do fishing via sound like you can just listen when the water splashes because every time the fish baits is going to make a splashing sound or you can just follow whenever the bait pulls down this string into water and basically that's the sign that the fish is ready to catch so you just do it like so now that's very much easy um i don't think that past moon dragon village there are any fishing ponds yeah so you can see already here barbarian mountain has none and of course the rest of the maps which will include jade city flame phoenix land islands those do not have any more fishing ponds whatsoever because as you can tell max level is level 7 which granted stops in moon dragon village now regards of fishing that's really all you have to know now let's go towards the cooking itself granted if i forgot something about fishing i will ad additionally return to it but i believe that's most about it so cooking as we can tell there are all kinds of fishes that you can make and maximum level is level 8 even despite in the cooking slides there's only fishes for level 7 to the max this makes me believe that very soon there will be cooking level 8 added and the reason for that is nobody i don't think anyone knows this maybe very very few people but there is one sort of meat for level 8 that drops in saturn palace cave now granted nobody does saturn palace so naturally nobody can even know and even if it drops it's extremely rare because it drops from mobs which you do not kill as you go only in saturn palace to kill bosses so therefore if you ever drop that kind of a meat for level 8 please save it up i've seen how it looks but i don't have one because i have never been into saturn palace so yeah that's all that remains to be told about that now here you can see that you can prepare or cook a fishes that you catch because those like you can see here those are raw materials which i still have so the shadow crucian ribbon fish with three fins however there are also meats so you can see that here let's say pork um then tender rabbit meat then tender wolf meat now granted each meat of those is going to drop regards of what level mobs you kill so those meats are going to drop from the outside mobs on the wilderness map so basically green scarf sky village cloud mountain wherever you already kill them so level one meat is going to drop from level one to ten mobs level two meat from level 10 to 20 and so on and on which leads us to last level being level 60 to 70 mobs that are going to drop the level 7 meat so as we can tell there is going to be a let's say a roast fire eye meat uh, which gives elemental defense this one is extremely expensive and probably one of the i would dare to say top two best buffs overall then there is a level 7 meat that will um give you a restorage of health and mana potion for 15 seconds now this one recovers both at the same time so it's not individual like those potions that you have to have individually health potion individually mana potion those recover you at the same time so you use one you recover both at once now then there is weaker version of the elemental defense um this one we already mentioned meta one um defensive one attacking one and the weaker version of the elemental defense now granted there are some more with weaker um storage hp and mana potion and the elemental defense so basically you can see here that there is 
three types of the elemental defense buffs, two types of um, HP and mana recovery, and the two types of the, uh, well actually that's it, um, and then there is one type of each for the fish that you catch itself. Now, there are chances when you cook all together that you can get outside of this green fish that you can get the advanced version of a fish so let's take for example um as i have over here over here boiled red tail shark this is the common drop basically for every one fish that you make you are going to have guarantee to get one of those however there is always a chance that you can get the rare fish which will be like something like this now this one is going to be blue buff and as you can tell the icon has the yellow frame or gold frame around it however you want to call it already so if we look at here this one gives only 35 attributes for 20 minutes however this one is going to give you 53 attributes plus damage absorb for 79 points so this one is extremely well especially if you know how to combine fishes which I'm also going to make uh, about video later on because yes you can combine two different kinds of fishes it just takes you knowing the right combinations which works with one another so granted um, those blue fishes always get sold out after or people just don't really want to sell them because they are going to use them for themselves now this is working for every kind of a fish that you cook so let's take for example um let's say if you were to cook shadow crucian you are going to still get this meta buff however on top of that you are going to get the damage absorb part of a buff as well because it's going to be a blue fish and every single fish has a mo in most cases the bonus of giving you extra damage absorb except of the recovery ones which are going to just give you flat out bigger recovery if you get it in a blue variation so now how do you cook um it's basically pretty straightforward um let's say if we were to cook a fish um i'm just gonna take one example over here um so let's say you want to cook um boiled red tail shark those fishes as you know you are going to fish out out of moon dragon village eventually however you can see that there are two materials that are required as well all the cooking materials that are going to be asked for every single fish or a meat you can buy over here at kitchener so let's say for the boiled red tail shark you're going to need fresh water which is over here as well as secret boiling seasoning packet which is basically this white packet and you can just buy both of those alongside with this fish and you just click make all or make one or make however many you want and that's basically equal process as if you were doing the potions um or the let's say as you can see like you just click make all and it's basically the same function you just need to fulfill the required materials to make specific kind of let's say potion or a fish or a meat or whatever it already is so regards of cooking itself that is really simple what and how you need to do now regards of the how do you unlock fishing rods and hooks as i've said um there is already three kinds of fishing rods and hooks however everything starts to unlock on level 60 and how does it start you need to go at the any blacksmith of any map because the blacksmith is going to give you two quests and those two quests are going to be for the this item um, I have a little bit of lag so please bear with me um, it's going to be this damaged weapon and this broken jade pendant so basically you collect both of those quests for those items at any blacksmith on any map 
and you have to give them to Immortal Lee, which the quest will tell you itself. Now you can even read why they are for if you read the quest item. As you can tell, damaged weapon, quest item of Red Scale Road quest series, don't delete it. Broken Jade Pendant, quest item of Phoenix Big Hook quest series, don't delete it. What that means is, once you get those two items, you automatically unlock a Jiang Hai quest series for both Rod and Hook. So before level 60 you cannot unlock absolutely anything. So granted as I got both of those we can go and see that I have pile of the quests to do. So as you can see here I am required Ironwood Road Drawing, I am also required Red Scale Road Drawing here, then I am also required Grindstar of Right Road Iron Hook, then I am also required Phoenix B Hook Drawing and Golden ID. So I did a couple of a little bit quests here and there while I was playing with this character which was around 2016-2017, the last time that I touched this character regards of any active playing so that's why I have some of the quests kind of unlocked and opened um, but basically yeah that's once you get those two items then you can start cleaning in the order the quest series and the quests are going to tell you specifically which series is for which as you can see here red scale road seal is the drawing here is phoenix big hook series legendary phoenix big hook so progressively over time you are going to unlock the ironwood rod and as well you are going to unlock the red scale rod which is ultimately the last and the best rod that everyone chases for now regards of a fishing loot itself i think that pretty much everyone by now knows what the best rewards out of fishing are if we exclude just the fishes However, there is one thing that nobody talked about ever, which I have actually found in files that is pretty much interesting and probably will help to a degree to a bot, which is the percentages under which the fishing mechanics operate. Now, first case is percentages under which or how many long you need for certain fish to get so if we s saw that once you go to catch a fish the line or the bar that charges towards fishing is going from right to left now the first 30 percent of the line always is going to be only attacking fish other 25% is going to be only defensive fish and the probably for a reason they have done this is last 45% of a loading line to catch any fish is going to be always meta one fish. So if you are hunting a very specific fish you can kind of get yourself let's say uh, knowledge when to click or when to pass if you want to catch a one of those specific fishes now the same case goes for the drops themselves now first 95 percent of a line that loads from back towards front are always going to give you common drops so in common drops let's say are included green id gems blue id gems um pet foods small rubies, small emeralds, um, pit of, one pit of energy stone or, or any of those tiny little things however rare and big drops such as let's say super refinery charm instant full mana potion, golden id, titanium stone, advanced vivid spell um, and whatever I probably forgot some big uh, 20 occult berries also are always going to be given in those last 5% of a line that it loads so that's why it's been placed there with a purpose and this is reason why 
the prolonging a hook time matters. A lot of people just do a stupid thing and yes I call it a stupid thing because they put on a maxed out rod 0.5 second fish without even realizing how the actual bar of fishing works. So oftentimes, especially bots, like bots cannot bot properly with 0.5 seconds that they catch fish every single time that they want to. Like that's just impossible with 0.5 second fish. So if you want to fish bot fish actually properly already, you have to have two second hook. That's why it's made for a reason. I get it. It's expensive. The rod itself, well actually not the rod, but let's include the rod as well. But the scroll for the last hook alone is anywhere between 30 to 50,000 gold. And the scroll for the rod itself is between 50 to 70,000 gold. So if you go to auction, you can even see. Now by now probably have prices dropped down because there's so many people that bot farm it like you can very often see rumors from Hong's wife which is Silver Fox Cave's last boss that drops the rod scroll and sometimes you can see seven stars stage last boss rumors because though there is where the the scroll for the hook drops um so kind of you really have a lot of ways to even make money out of that now granted to answer does it pay off to make a rod and hook up until or the very end if you have a plan to fish for let's say three to five years or however long you already want to your investment is going to pay off by itself from the loot that you get over time like there are people that just bot farm and they get like 10 to 15 titanium stones a day because they have so many apps that bot fish so let's take an example um if we go to doesn't really matter let's just go to the smallest um fishing pond um and this is also one of the questions that I got does the place where you fish matter for the drop outside of fish the answer is no only that matters is your fishing rod so as we can see here there's like four or five already fishing bots that bought even with the bamboo rod let alone with the red scale rod um, if we go to the next um, fishing pond you can always find a ton of fishing bots because as the thumbnail says, it's a new bottable meta and the reason why it's so good is because you can bot it out of green zones. So basically nobody can kill you from those two zones or three, however many there is. Like here there is one fishing bot, here is already like, what is this, three or four already also, two, three. But yeah, you get my point. This is why... A lot more people in the future are going to move away from the killing bots and they are just going to go towards the fishing bots. So hopefully this explained everything that you need to know about cooking and fishing. I know this video is going to be probably long but there is just always a lot to talk about fishing and i have probably forgot a thing or two about it so if i did please remind me in the comments below or feel free to ask any question if i forgot to explain with that being said i will leave the video there and i'll see you in the next video until then 